What is up everybody? Welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. So now that we have our Raspberry Pi, it's all set up. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial and probably the next few tutorials, I'm going to be using a Raspbian uh, operating system for everything that we're going to do. If you don't have Raspbian and you don't know how to set up your Raspberry Pi, check out some of the previous videos. So with that, what we're going to be doing in this video is um, overclocking our Pi. So to do that, um, you just have to change a few settings. It's very simple, and there's actually kind of two ways to do it. If you have a, a new Raspberry Pi or you've got uh, noobs installed, there's actually a setting that you can, like, you can use it in the config utility um, to do it. But that's no fun because you're not actually learning anything about your Raspberry Pi. You're just choosing an option in a pre-made GUI. So actually, let's learn how to change um, our CPU clock settings ourselves and but I will show you guys at the end of the video how to do it via the config utility as well um, as far as warranty is concerned when you overclock your Pi I want to say if you do it via the config utility uh, you're still covered under warranty so oh, if you have a newer Pi it depends on what generation Pi you have but uh, don't quote me on that. And you might want to look up yourself if you're worried about your warranty. But honestly, I mean, this was like 35 bucks, so um, I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, let's go ahead and pop in. First thing we want to do is open up your uh, terminal. And if you're a little uncomfortable with the terminal, don't worry. Probably either the next tutorial or at least very, very soon, we'll be talking about the uh, commands for your terminal. This is good to go ahead and get comfortable with um, working inside your terminal because it's very powerful and eventually you probably are better off operating your Raspberry Pi what's called quote unquote headless and just connecting via like SSH or something like that and if you do that it will look um, or at least the commands will be very similar. So the first thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and figure out what our settings currently are. So to do that you'll type in cat and then we're going to go into prop and CPU info and when we hit that we'll see what our uh, settings are and as you can see it's, it's normally clocked at I want to say 700 uh, megahertz so that's what we're sitting at right now now the goal is to overclock it you know you might want to choose 800 just for a nice subtle overclock or you can go even further and there's actually two things that we can overclock here we can overclock the uh, processor and you can also overclock RAM and then there's also another interesting little thing that you can do, which is why probably we'll be talking about the uh, sh uh, terminal commands in probably like a couple, like two videos, because the next thing we'll be doing is meshing the two so they can share their power. Definitely something awesome. So now that we've seen this, the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead. There's another command you can do, um, and it is VCG. Hold on, let me move my mouse. VCG um, ENCMD get underscore config and then what what we want to get from that is the arm underscore frequency now in my case it's going to tell me zero probably in your case uh, depending on what generation or version of pi you have uh, you might get something else but what it's doing is it's accessing your config file and looking for the arm underscore frequency variable and uh, right now I believe it's telling us zero because it's not finding the variable um, so it's just kind of like a null, or it doesn't exist. So anyway, um, so now what we want to do is go in there into our config file and config exactly what we want. So how do we get into our config file? So actually, getting into your config file is pretty simple. And again, if you're if you're not familiar with uh, the commands, have no fear. We'll be talking about them in the uh, next video, or at least a, maybe a couple videos away. Um, I just first wanted to give you guys a taste for maybe why you might want to learn these commands. So anyway, um, you'll want to do sudo, let me move my mouse again, sudo nano, and then where do we want to go? We want to go into the boot folder, and then within there, there or I'm sorry, directory, and in there we want to do config.txt. That's what we want to put up on the screen. So when you hit enter, it's going to open up that file. And here it is, and this file even though um, there's really no um, functions in it or anything like that, um, it's all it's Python really like you can see these are it's Python on or it's Python comments and so on 
Um, so the first thing that we want to do is up here, uh, you could read some of these, like if you're having any of these problems, like if you're not getting any HDMI and you've got it plugged in, you could uncomment this and usually it's zero for uh, false, one for true. So if you want to turn on HDMI safe mode, you could uncomment this. Um, anyway, so you could read those if you want, but what we're interested in is down here at the bottom. Um, now again, depending on what version you have, um, you might have this here or you might not. You might need to hand type this entire thing out. Otherwise, if you've got a current version, you could, um, hold on, let's see, what am I doing here? Oops, shoot, well, we stopped it. Hold on, let me pop back into it. Don't hit Control Z. <laughs> anyway, coming back down. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to edit this frequency, but if, like I said, if you've already got it here, you just need to uncomment it. So once you've uncommented it, next thing you want to do is exit, and when you exit, on exit, it's going to ask you if you want to save, which of course we do. So you'll hit Control X for exit, Save the modified version, Y for yes, and then it's going to ask you what file name you want to write it to. By default, it's going to be the original file name. So we're just going to hit enter. So we've resaved it basically. Now, in some instances, you'll be able to just shut down, like, and restart, and that will do everything you need. If you've got kind of like a newer Pi, um, it should work perfectly fine for us. But if it doesn't, um, there are a couple other options that you can do. So just for the sake of doing it, we're going to run through those options. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to do sudo sync. Uh, the next thing you want to do is sudo sh-c. We want to echo 3 greater than and um, process vm. And we want to drop caches. So we do that. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to kind of re spit this file out basically so we're going to go through a little bit of a copy and paste process here so sudo cp for copy config uh, actually what we need to do is slash i think it's in what was it? boot slash config.txt and then where do we want to copy it to same thing we want to copy it to boot config.txt and then we want to save that then we want to do the same thing with a one Finally, we want to sudo sync, sync, exit, and then finally, um, one last exit. So what that's going to do is you're just going to cut you out of your terminal, basically. So now what we want to do is shut down the Pi, and as always, the best way to shut down the Pi is going to be actually through the terminal. So let's open it back up again, and we'll just, just for good measure, we'll sync, we'll run another sync. And then now we'll just do sudo shutdown uh, and now. So what this is going to do now is we'll shut down our Pi. And uh, whenever it's done uh, fully shutting down, lights will stop blinking, yada, yada. Um, what you'll need to do is unplug the power to your Pi and replug back in your power. We'll wait for my Pi to uh, begin again. <laughs> 